Hold on. Okay, so summarize, please, what you were just talking about that inspired I am in this Destiny and or Hate video was was speaking about in terms of positive thinking and all this. Okay. Um, the video is called Equal Money for Dummies, and it was talking about in the beginning how Destiny members tend to focus on the horrors in this world. So the shit that's going on in this world, the starvation, the murder, the rape, the war, all that stuff. And sh what she was saying is that by focusing on the horrors in this world, you're actually creating more of the horrors in this world. And instead of focusing on the negative things that are going on in the world, we should focus on the positive things in order to bring that positive stuff more in our lives. Okay, and so what we're looking at is how this is actually um, a misuse or like an abuse of positive thinking. Because positive thinking in itself, assuming it's an effective tool, is just a tool. Depending on your starting point will determine whether you use it for what's best for all or whether you use it for um, just for yourself. And so, for example, um, a, someone who is making these arguments, like you were just talking about, is only looking at their own security and comfort and like emotional security, emotional like good feelings. So when they're saying focus on the positive, they're just saying focus on the things that makes you individually or themselves feel happy and ignoring the, the things they perceive as negative because that makes them feel bad or, or, or they, I mean, they, they say it makes them feel bad, but what they're not doing is, for example, taking responsibility for that point. Meaning when you look at, for example, starving in the world, positive thinking, the way you could apply it in terms of what's best for all would be to not ignore it, you know, because obviously positive thinking tells you to not focus on things you don't want in your life. However, if you really go into the real application of positive thinking and what it's really being taught as, um, you, you don't just ignore the things that you don't want in your life. Yeah. When, when something comes into your life that you don't want, you look at it as a and gift. You, as a gift. You're, and, and what we say in Destiny is you're, you're honest with yourself about this. You don't suppress it. You look at it and then you find a way to deal with it effectively. And obviously there's a lot of things in this world that when we look at it self-honestly and we say, okay, starvation, that's not right. I might not be starving, but there are people starving and that's not right. What could I possibly do about it? And it's easy to then feel bad and feel guilty and feel um, ashamed and, and, and powerless to fix it. But that doesn't mean that you should just ignore it then. It means you should find other people who are like-minded, which is part of positive thinking as well, is to find other like-minded people because the more people you add together that are of the same mind or of the same principle, such as best for all, then the more powerful you are even as an individual because you add one plus one with each member that you're a, a group, within a group with, you add your one to the group and then you become more powerful as a group. So obviously as an individual, you can't think your way positively out of the suffering and starvation of this world, but you can do something positive towards solving it by, for example, joining a group that is actually standing for a solution and, and looking to implement practical political democratic solutions to actually changing the system and solving the actual problems such as starvation or whatever the point is that we're looking at. And that's what we at Destiny are doing. We're saying we're not just gonna participate in some positive thinking point where we only get a feeling of whether it's guilt or whether it's you know good feeling by focusing on the negative or focusing on the positive we are going to actually look at what is actually going on in this world not ignore it not participate in ignorance and actually care enough about the people in this world in order to create a world where everyone is actually cared for because ultimately we were looking at this point as well what is the problem with positive thinking it only goes so far it only gets you to a point where you're able to focus on yourself and your life and whether you can have a nice house a nice car you know an education for your kids um, that kind of stuff but it doesn't actually have a 
ultimate effect because you cannot be ultimately happy in this world if the rest of the world is crumbling around you and suffering. I mean, you ultimately you'll face the consequence, whether it's death or whether it's earlier than that, but you'll face the fact that you've only been focusing on your own life and your own survival and your own wealth and happiness and ignoring the rest of the world. So what we're talking about at, at Destiny in terms of like, I mean, how you can apply positive thinking is actually caring about the entire world, about all of life that is here and not allowing yourself to ignore what's going on here and come up with practical solutions that actually support everyone here in a positive way, but not allow yourself to get some kind of good feeling from it. Just be here. Just be here and yeah. be happy that other people around you, as well as yourself, are being supported effectively here so that we can all start to actually have freedom of expression. And, and positive meaning move forward yes. for the actual solution. Move with the group you're standing with. Move towards the actual goal. Negative would mean to detract from that goal. To move backwards. So we're not saying positive and negative as in good and bad feelings because that's just that's just emotional manipulation. The real positive right, the real positive in this world is to actually do what's best for all and to move towards it. So when you're saying positive thinking, it means apply yourself effectively in this world and focus your efforts towards positively towards the goal that you're working for towards the principles that you stand for don't be negative and meaning doubt yourself don't doubt yourself don't allow excuses and limitations those are all things that detract you uh, detract from the goal and also don't ignore the point when you see it see it as a gift see everything as for example if you're having a reaction to a video or if you're having a reaction to something you see in the news f identify what the source of that reaction is within yourself because that's the gift. It's showing you what you're accepting and allowing. Don't turn a blind eye to it. Actually face it, deal with it, and then move forward. And I mean, in terms of like the neg or the, what we would call negative stuff that's going on in the news, in the sense that that is a gift, it's showing you where you are not fully participating in this world, hmm. where you're allowing a rape to happen and you're thinking, oh, well, thank God it didn't happen to me. You know, that's not positive thinking. That's allowing yourself to go into um, fear and justification and manipulation with inside yourself. Whereas what that news story is really showing you is your own lack of participation. So take that as a gift because it's showing you where you can start to stand up, step up and start to participate and stop the abuse from going on in this world. Like actually take responsibility. It shows you where you haven't. So now you can. It's like growing self-awareness. Yeah, so the moment you have to make a decision for yourself of what you stand for and whether you really care. And if you really care, then visit destiny.co.za, visit destinyiprocess.com, and visit equalmoney.org.